Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising. Weekly Tower reading December 9th to December 15th, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and uh, we can jump right into the spread, which, by the way, is going, is going to be a, a new one. I've decided to change it a little bit for this week just to see how it's going to go. So, uh, the first card which represents the topic for your week, Leo, that is going to be the Two of uh, Swords. Followed by the second card here, which represents the energy supporting the topic, that is going to be the King of Swords. Followed by the third one, that stands for the uh, challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Queen of Wands. The fourth card represents the uh, gifts and blessings that the week is going to have for you. That is going to be the Sun card. Followed by the fifth one, which represents how the people are going to see you throughout the week. That is going to be the Wheel of Fortune. The sixth card, the, the sixth card here stands for what you can do to, uh, what can help you to achieve your goals here. That is going to be the Chariot. Followed by the seventh one, which... Uh, represents uh, what can hurt you to um, achieve your goals that is going to be the four of cups and the last one it is the guidance we do have the lover's card okay so um two of swords which is the theme and the topic and the king of swords which are the energy supporting it it does point to a series uh, deliberations, I would say, into what direction you are to go for, what kind of an action you are to make, um, either regarding your career or either regarding your relationship. Now, the week it's same, uh, itself, or the team itself, for the week is going to be about equilibrium, that everything is going to be a standstill, equalizing itself career and love life friendships and so on and so forth and that equilibrium needs to be disrupted so you know you can advance forward you can grow and uh, in either direction but the thing is that you are gonna you're going to deliberate how to do it in the best possible way uh, that comes from the energies and it points that the way out of difficulties or in this case the way out of a stillness and equilibrium the right way I mean resides into uh, the analysis of the situation and of the actions that one can take but it is important here with those two cards uh, to be decisive or determined is the word that I'm searching for because you are on the verge of a, um, executing something big and how can I say it? Your actions, whatever actions you decide to do, they are going to be effective. And for that reason, uh, the determination and decisiveness plays a big role because um, at the end of the day, it's unlikely that you are going to undo what you can do. Okay, so whatever you do is going to be 
uh, undestructible. But on the plus side, um, the week is going to be very peaceful itself and you can take as much time as you wish. As a matter of fact, it's kind of advisable for you to do so because the right decision, the right way of, um, of acting is going to become obvious to you should you decide to wait it out to become obvious. So the next one uh, stands for the challenges that you need to overcome. And that is a person here. We do have the Queen of Wands. And that is a quite of a, uh, as a challenger, it's quite of a, a jealous type of, um, actually not jealous, envious type of person, uh, or, or, of person. What is the difference in between jealousy and envy? Well, you are jealous someone not to have what you want, what you have, or someone not to take what you have. Envy is when you don't have something that someone else does have. So in other words, this person wants something that you do have and, and wants to take it. And that is a the challenge here, right, for you throughout the week. So you have to be on your guard because the Queen of Wands, it's a very skilled manipulator. Uh, usually she or he, it could be a, a, a male as well. Uh, they know how to press buttons. They do know the weaknesses into everybody around, into the human nature. So they do have leverage. And it's quite a very fearsome, uh, quite a very fearsome enemy, quite a very fearsome challenge. And the only way how you can um, overcome the challenge of the Queen of Wands is to challenge the Queen itself. If you stand in front of her with your face, if you will. So the next card here, uh, it is about the gifts and blessings that the week has for you. So we do have the sun card and whatever you are after, whatever your deliberations are for, uh, the gift from the week, it is to promise you that this is going to be quite of a, an expanding thing to grow, all right? So there is a, a, such a big potential into the ideas that are going to sprinkle from your mind throughout this week. Additionally to that, it is the glyph of a, a glyph, oh my God, gift of a, a natural unfold, unfoldment of things, all right? Because the sun is the most, goes through its natural way. So uh, whatever it is to take place as an action or as a situation, as an enterprise, is going, is going to unfold extremely naturally on its own, uh, in its own nature. But on a more practical level, gift and blessings with the sun card, uh, with the sun card are a happiness, exhilaration, monetary gains okay so you can expect that from all sides that your uh, your position is going to improve money wise love wise career wise in any way because the sun is promising that so how the people are going to see you here we do have the wheel of fortune uh, as an opportunist was the first thing that came to my mind when i saw the card but not only that now the wheel of fortune it's um In the most times, it's one in a lifetime opportunity. So people are going to see you for them as once in a lifetime opportunity. So maybe there are, so maybe there will be a, a competition for you, especially if we're talking about love wise. And just think about it. This is a week of stillness where you have to take, make a move or you figure out how to make a move or make a decision. And as, People see you as a um, there once in a lifetime opportunity. That could be a competition for your heart, for example, or for your capabilities, for your expertise. Uh, if we're talking about career, so people are going to compete for you one or uh, another way. And uh, it does look like that the competition here in the face of the Queen of Wands is quite fearsome. I mean, the Queen of Wands is going to be envious that you are the fulcrum of competition and not her. And that's why you have to be 
very careful. But with the Wheel of Fortune as well, people are going to see you as a quite of a bright person in a sense of that a person who is always um, capable to surprise people around with new, uh, with varieties of, um, of new enterprises, of new endeavors as well. And in generally, uh, it's, it's, it's a person who always has something to uh, offer. The other card here points to what you can do uh, or rather like what is going to help your goals. Uh, we do have the chariot card. So it's about singularity is the best way how I can describe it. It's about uh, relying only on um, on personal skills and personal personal capabilities, if you will, with this card. It is like charging forth, uh, being armed with um, with the iron will and determination of oneself and charging, through, uh, uh, charging throughout the, uh, the storm, the path is going to be revealed for you. Therefore, uh, the card here points that you have to, instead of crumble in fear, laugh in the face of danger, laugh in the face of challenge, uh, challenge itself. The uh, chariot card here points that you need to have uh, a, a extremely high um, self dedication, maybe, and and kind of like a clamor into uh, into one's in, into your own personal capabilities, Leo. That uh, whatever comes in your way or whatever fate throws. Uh, at you, you can definitely handle it, despite of how overwhelming it does. Uh, it does look like on a first glance, or it does seems on a first glance. The other card, it is about uh, what is going to hurt your goals here. That is going to be the Four of Cups. It is pretty explanatory on its own accord. It is the inactivity and constantly overthinking opportunity over opportunities at hand instead of seizing them. All right. So once you fix yourself upon one pin, upon one thing, upon one point, upon one fulcrum. That is your goal, and you have to start doing, performing things into that direction instead of taking a, a passive uh, position, which does not relate to this week. When I say goals, these are long-term goals, and these are the actions throughout the week that are going to help you get one step closer to uh, toward that goal. But the week itself, once again, is going to be where you are going to contemplate and deliberate upon a big decision or a big move that you are about to do. It is just you may, uh, you are going to contemplate for the best way of how you can do that decision or uh, what decision to take or what or how to make this uh, move. And the last card here refers to the guidance and we do have the lover's card. So, <clears throat> biggest guidance that the Lover's card gives us, it is that there is no right or wrong move, or there is no right or wrong decision. At the end of the day, <clears throat> every decision comes to what you want to do against what you have to do, and doing one or the other leaves you with the consequences of the decision not taken or of the move not taken. So the guidance wise, the lowers card tells you that whatever you decide to do at the end of the day, um, it should be made in such a fashion that you are in peace with yourself. Okay, that you want what you are deciding in a, uh, deciding in a favor of. You do want what you are going after and so on and so forth. It does refer to harmony uh, into uh, within oneself. In other words, do not do things that you don't like. Do not decide in favor of a uh, options available that you don't like as well or that you don't do not want. Just to look good into the eyes of others or just to sacrifice your personal happiness for the happiness of someone else. And another, but this is a trifling guidance here from the lover's card, it is that um, the problems you have currently, they are not as big as you make them to be and they are not as many as you think they are as well. So many of those uh, problems are either going to resolve themselves or they will simply vanish uh, from your life.
So that being said, Leo, this was your weekly tarot reading, December 9th to December uh, 15th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then.